morning guys I'm just on my way up to Glen Hopkins uh, Cambridge uh, to meet up with Derek Clark at one o'clock this afternoon to have my test drive of the 28 in Nissan Leaf and I'm hoping that the vehicle I actually get to test drive is a limited edition 2.0 it doesn't really matter too much if it isn't um, they all come with the e-pedal which is the most important feature on that vehicle that I'm really looking forward to test um, so that's really good um, the weather today it's quite rainy um, so I don't know if the if we do get a chance to use the pro pilot because um, sometimes the rain can in, uh, be interfered with with the radars in certain conditions I don't know if it's if we're even going to go on like I say carriageways to test that um, but I'll just get a general feel of the vehicle um, there's a few things I actually want to um, see how good the vehicle is uh, and one of them is actually how good the vehicle is with the eco mode um, and the e-pedal compared to the old model which really made the car feel sluggish I'm hoping with the extra power of that motor um, it will actually overcome that kind of like uh, drawback of using the uh, eco mode so it would be basically very similar to the old model uh, without the eco mode on that's one of the things I'm actually looking forward to seeing because um, obviously it will help eke out a little bit more performance out of the batteries the other thing that I'm really looking forward to, which I've actually seen on quite a few other reviews so far, um, is the wind or lack of wind noise uh, when travelling at speed. Because a lot of people have actually said that out on the road at a given speed, say like 40 mile an hour, there's virtually no wind noise. Uh, and it'd be interesting to see how that actually compares. So that's another little thing I want to see, which will obviously aid the silence of the vehicle. Um, and it'd be interesting to see how the car actually handles in terms of some rough imperfections in the road. Um, it's going to be interesting to know with those 17 inch wheels if it's, you know, going to be a bit too rough riding. Um, the 16 inch rimmed variants with the um, 55 inch profiles should be a lot smoother in terms of riding and dealing with uh, imperfections on the road and potholes and things like that whereas a 17 inch variant actually could be actually quite crashy um, so that'd be an interesting thing to actually test as well and just the general build quality of the vehicle um, seeing how good it squares up compared to the old model um, I mean these are very early models in the production line so might have to you know judge them on that um, but if the old models anything to go by like I said in my evolutionary design uh, video a few months ago now it should be pretty much solid um, we'll have to see um, I think that's about it for now um, obviously things like because it's quite rainy today visibility will be actually a good test um, obviously to seeing how good the uh, wipers deal with the auto uh, rain wiping functionality you might get to test that as well um, I'm not a great love of, lover of uh, auto wipers, truth be told. I prefer the old school of having four settings on the intermittent um, stalk. So effectively you have one wipe at 13 seconds, one at nine, one at seven, one at five, and one every three seconds. Um, and then just wiping continuously if you have it on the uh, main first setting. Um, rain sensing wipers like this vehicle has got them and it's raining now and they're not wiping, I'm still doing it manually. Um, so that'd be interesting to see how that actually uh, pans out and also the driving position out on the road which I mentioned when I was at the launch event the driving position uh, seemed quite high in that vehicle which is really really good um, my current vehicle I've got these it's only about a few inches higher than a traditional car in terms of being able to see like a commanding uh, view of the road and it'd be interesting to see if the leaf how that stacks up compared to my current vehicle um, out on the road so that's another thing I want to actually uh, take note of and um, just general comfort this uh, so this is a very very quick uh, review of the vehicle when I actually get to drive it and uh, we'll see where we go from there anyway I'm gonna cut you off now guys because um, I'm just about to hit the motorway because it's probably gonna get noisy and I will uh, catch up with you when I get to Cambridge and we're looking at the vehicle Bye. One other thing before I go, um, 
one thing that I've actually started doing on my current vehicle, and I don't know if this might be a little thing for potential um, internal combustion engine, uh, taxi and private eye drivers and the general public to do, is I'm actually restricting my amount of fuel I actually put into uh, my internal combustion engine. Uh, what I mean by that is I'm putting maximum of about 25 pound in, which equates to about 160 miles, which would be basically what the leaf would give me. Um, so I'm trying to get ready for that mindset. Um, I mean, it's only about 31 miles away to the dealership uh, from here, my current location that is, and on my guess I meet up on my current car because that's got a very similar thing to the Leaf like most cars have on a fuel computer it's shown I've got 76 miles um, I've actually zeroed the one of my trip meters when it was down to 82 miles and I'm actually going to see exactly how much I can actually get down to on the reserve um, I haven't got a backup um, can of diesel so um, this is gonna be quite interesting. But I just thought it might be something that a lot of people might actually wanna consider doing. So then you get used to that mindset of having that 160 miles maximum. Uh, on my current vehicle, like I say, that equates to about, I think it's about four and a half gallons of fuel, um, which equates to that uh, 26 pound odd. And I'm going to actually going to try and stick to that religiously before I take delivery of it. So then I'll actually have that 160 miles in my head. Anyway, it was just a quick thing. Um, might not be relevant to you guys, but as I say, I'll, um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, anyway, last time I'm about to hit the motorway, and I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye. I've mean, already got three people. Um, lined up for different wheelchairs as well which is going to be really handy oh fantastic that's actually something i actually wanted to ask that those rain sensing wipers yes have they um have you got manual control on that or is that just specifically uh you have got manual control yeah using this one here right so you can actually adjust sort of uh sort of the, the how intermittent they are okay as well is that what you mean yeah 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 because yeah. 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 yeah, my one is it's, it's okay but i tell you what i do like about that wipers i was actually going to say as well which Sorry, is actually quite that. handy Leather and bag the, yeah no it's fine there um is the uh how quiet they are yes yeah yeah because my yeah. car one thing i love about i must admit with that it's just that all of their models are so quiet i yeah. hate scrapey wipers i do and they're just <laughs> absolutely brilliant <laughs> right so where are we so i so same sort of situation last time the, and right so this is automatic okay so you can literally once you put it into gear uh, into drive you it can will just drive that. off it okay, will release fine. it it's only when you stop when you press the P button to put back in park, yep. whilst your foot's applied, pull that towards you and that'll come back on. Okay, fine. So we're we ready to go, yeah? Yeah, all good. Oh, is the E pedal on or off? No, it's off at the You're moment. You're off at the moment. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I thought we'd get you to just go off in yeah, the drive yeah, at the fine. moment. If we turn left out of here then. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's right. Do you know, I'm actually surprised how um, smooth this ride is. And that's yeah. soft, smooth tarmac. But I thought the 17 inch, because I've um, a lot of people that have the uh, the previous version with the 16 inch rims and obviously more important the uh, 55 profile tires Yeah, they actually noticed when they test drove a Tecna which right. had the 17 inch rims going from Sadia Centre They noticed a massive difference in ride, but this I tell you what I mean that lump I just didn't nice. even feel that No, well, we're gonna go over a, a railway crossing bit here in a sec So you'll feel the difference when you're going over sort of little bumps there as well um, and Wow, I tell you what that I'm actually really surprised because one of the things I wanted to test I mean at 40 mile an hour, there's no wind noise. No. Nah. Nothing at all. Well, that's and it's actually quite the, yeah. windy as well today. Yeah, when we go into the A14, you'll notice that difference as well. And that's the great thing. If someone's in the back, you can have that conversation as well without sort of going oh, to... This phenomenal. Yeah. Right, it's beautiful. I'm actually, I'll tell you what, I know that I would change... We the left hand lane go straight yeah, over no, it. I, Like I said, um, I'd actually probably go over to the 16 inch rims, mainly for uh, uh, tyre uh, savings. Yeah. Because obviously they jump up from the 16 to the 7 is like 50% of the tyre, and regardless of what brand you actually go for. But I must admit, considering how, how quiet this ride is, and yeah, how yeah. smooth it is, I mean, I might even stomach the, set, the, the extra cost, because obviously I'm going to save money on the uh, on the actual birds on the car extra. anyway, yeah. <laughs> I think that's how I'm really, really yeah. surprised how smooth this is. Really, really smooth. And I, I mean, I can feel, obviously, like um, uh, one of my guys I, I actually uh, subscribe to on YouTube, um, uh, EV Opinions, he done a review last week. Uh, okay. Danbury lives, I think he lives down in Southampton. And 
he was saying how uh, planted it feels and it actually does it's really really nice it feels so solid yeah no, I, don't no. know, I don't remember the steering being I, I, it still feels semi light as the other shape but it just I don't know I can feel everything through the road for yes yeah 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 no it is it, do you know what as I say there's a big difference between the previous model and yeah, they're just, it's, they're the future. That's what I'm saying. They're just, I'll tell you, I cannot believe how yeah. smooth this is on 17 inch rims. I thought these 50 profile tyres would actually be really, really harsh. But that's, again, when we go into uh, the A14, if we go down to one junction and come back, again, you'll see the comfort on there. Interrupt well. you, there, that uh, 50 mile an hour is coming yeah. in, is that? Traffic sign recognition. Yep, so you've got that on there. So it will actually tell you what wow, speed you are supposed to be doing. It will read those signs. Wow. Um, Stay in the left-hand lane here, and if we go What left, does it do when it uh, picks up the um, natural speed limit? Does it that? comes up with that as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, really? It comes up with the natural speed limit. Wow, sign, that's yeah. really clever. And if we turn left here, if that's yep. all right. Yeah, it's much. Trying to try and do those windows for you. Left under the full lane. Yes, it's please, yeah. Nice. Thank you. I'm just going to try and turn it back to see that bit of a clear up for you. That's what I meant to ask you as well. That uh, the heat pump in these, um, how does that does that still operate like sub zero? Because air conditioning in normal vehicles don't work. Right. Okay. I don't know if you've ever noticed that in the internal combustion engines. That's one of the dads. Two years it goes back. Like this morning, it was uh, three or four degrees, and it literally um, weren't working. Until it went up to five or six, so I, I couldn't physically use the air conditioning. The air conditioning until right. Okay. So it'd be interesting to know if these actually work like because i looked into the heat pump the way it actually worked but can't really see that much information no it, i'm i'd have to find it out for you george that's all right sorry man. i'm just trying to get this yeah i'm uh, trying to i was yeah. just going to put it help you up on the there you go he didn't indicate there did no he didn't that's why i was there yeah 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 <laughs> Cruise is amazingly in 70. Yeah. And, do you know what? I, it doesn't even feel like I'm doing 50. No, and you know what I said about the wind noise as well. As you say, it's raining, it's windy, and you, I, you that can't even notice the difference. Incredible. I mean, all I can hear is the water underneath the tyres. Yeah, yeah. Like where obviously there's grooves in the, in the road. Where in the road where you're going to sit in there. Yeah, running. No, I'm very impressed. Oh, these. um Wipers, are they, uh, uh, wipers, the indicators, have yep. they got like the, like I just did there, no afflicted just once, they just... It goes three beeps, yeah, gotcha. or three clicks, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same yeah. as my vehicle, that's great. So that's so handy. That <laughs> that's what I was going to say, when you're literally just moving over, yeah, yeah, it's it does make a big difference there. If you want, George, whilst we're sitting here, yep. do you want to put the cruise control on just to get that yep, so I do. So if you press the, uh, the cruise control on the top. This one uh, first. Yeah, uh, so press that one more time, and then press the blue button now. That's it, and then press set. Uh, just on the bottom there. That's it. So you now got that. See the green now. Yeah. So that's going to keep you a certain distance from the car in front. The steering wheel light has now is gone that green. Is that set to that vehicle? What that is now? That's set. Set. Yep. So whatever they do, this will it will adjust. Yeah. Adjust. In a way. So you can pick up a bit more speed if you want to, and then what? Just uh, by accelerating. You know? Just by accelerating, and then you take your foot off. So it's the same sort oh, of that's handy. cruise control. Oh, see, so it's flashing when I start when you accelerating. Go, yep. And then what you want to do is if you press set, so when you get to oh, a high, see, yep. slightly higher speed, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, it's the same as what my vehicle is. It. So if you increase up, and then on the left hand side, you know you've got the car, little car icon with the lines underneath it. Yes. Speed camera. Speed camera as well. But I don't know if you've noticed there, it's actually the steering wheel is actually keeping you centered in the centre of the room. Road there as well. So if you try going slightly to the right now, oh yeah, probably back. Wow, well, that's scary. It's actually keeping you sitting <laughs> in the centre there. That's actually a really <laughs> weird feeling. You can feel the resistance. Yeah, down totally. Yes. Yes. Try again. That's really bizarre. Wow, that is. And it that's like it feels back. magnetic. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. Yeah. If we come off this junction here, yep. that's all right, yeah, and then fine. we can go up and come back down. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then when we come off the other end, you can try the E pedal, try yeah. it into the Eco mode, B sure. mode as well. Um, and how do I cancel this? Just press cancel. Just cancel uh, or again, cancel. if you apply your foot on the brake, the same as you know, like your normal cruise control. Normal shop, yeah. 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 Touch brake just kills it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. We're going to right hand lane up the top here. Yeah. No worries. But no, that is, it's quite a scary thing when you, you can feel that resistance. It and just you, felt like magnetic. It is like a magnet. It actually yeah. felt like it was pulling, <laughs> like when you put two, like two magnets together, it yeah. felt like that. It's really bizarre. Love the brakes. They're just really, really light on point. Yeah. As well. 
not that I needed to kiss them that much, but it was just literally just felt no, but it's, it's, to try. it's yeah, really progressive. Rather than putting your foot on, even gently and, and sort of like yeah, jumping being grabby. forward. Yeah. A lot of people have said a lot of EVs, uh, BVs actually, are, are like quite grabby. But that that was just, I mean, I'm just using the brakes. So I just want to see how they actually feel. But yeah. they actually feel nice and progressive actually, as if they work in harmony with the regenerative braking, which has probably been do it, done automatically, obviously. Yeah. But it just felt really, really nice and smooth. What I will show, just once we yep. stopped here, sorry, if I go through here, so you've got your normal dash up. So you've got some other sort of features on there as well you can go through. So then you know, like in the previous model, uh, you, like your dial went across the top of oh, the right, white yeah, lines, and yeah. then it went to the green to the left-hand side. Right. On here, you've got your white power bar, so as you put your power, power foot down, you can see that. Go right into so we get the right lane there, yes, it. And then when Far you, right, or just uh, stay in this middle lane, that's it. And then if we follow it round, and we can go back on. Yeah, no worries. Oh, I see. So when you actually start lifting off, it does what the old regen oh, the old one. The, yeah, and it'll go on there. And that'll do the same when you're using the B mode um, or your um, uh, your E pedal as well. Just stay in this lane. Yeah, yeah. if we stay in this lane as we go around, yeah, turn left there. Okay. And if you want, you can get that set up again if you want to give that another try. No, just no, that's that fine. That's, yeah. that's actually fine. So again, you've still got that power there if you need to. I mean, when you're coming off a junction or if you're, yep. again, on a slip road, you've got that sort of power there to be able to... That is, I tell you what, on. it doesn't even feel with, I'm, I'm not exaggerating, it doesn't even feel with doing 60 mile an hour. No. I mean, that, when I've accelerated over, like from like 30 to what, I mean, I just looked at it, clocked it, and thought, man, I'm doing like 60 mile an hour, and that was like in seconds. Yeah. And I wasn't even, I mean, I was watching that, the actual uh, power bar, and I think I wasn't even using, not even, what, a third of the complete of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's okay, while well, you're driving, I'm just going to put yep. the eco mode on. Yeah, go and for it. But if you feel that, it's still a little bit more of a pull there. Yeah. You've still got that power there. But as you know, you've got the bar underneath, so it yep. tells you you've got the eco section there for you as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see. So. And if I just take that off again there for you, it's just that way you can... Yeah, I, you I that, probably... Yeah. I, I, are we taking this one as an uh, No, next one down. If yeah, it's I, I probably won't use it because that was way too much of a drag. It felt exactly the same as, as the, the old one. Model. Yeah. And I, I just, I mean, my current vehicle's got an eco like that. And I find it, when you're coming up to junctions and you're trying to um, gauge when you can pull out into traffic, that can be actually quite dangerous. Yes. Yeah. I think from a driver's point of view, could, and you need, and I'm not saying obviously, I mean, I don't drive like a load, never have done, but when you're actually pulling out of junctions and you need to get out, say, God, like when that lorry pulled out that junction and yeah, you need you to need accelerate, to over. If you just having to do that and come out, I think yeah. I'd rather just have it uh, on demand. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Did you drive much in the B mode, uh, the B mode last time as well? Yes, you loved did. It. Yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. loved it. So again, the same thing, you will feel that drag. It, the Does way, it show it that like, uh, B mode is actually on on this, or is it just... But yeah, it'll put you back in speed. So the same as last time, if you literally just put it back down as if you're going to put it into gear again. Right, so the moment we're just in D mode, D mode D, yeah, and, and then you just move again. over, it'll put you into the B mode. So, sure. Can you um, do that on the flyers? So that you have to be stationary to do no, that? No, no, you can do that while okay. driving as well. Okay. But you'll notice, yeah, the best way to describe it, it feels like you're towing something, doesn't it, in the way? Yeah, yeah. 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 I actually didn't mind that. I actually got quite used to it, because it felt like you had a lot more regen when you was actually coming to a standstill, yes. which I noticed around the town, it was absolutely brilliant. But then when you just accelerated normally, I said, I did try the Eco, and I just found it really, really light, uh, restrictive, yes. especially if you're trying to get out, like I say, on junctions. Like, say someone flashes you out and you need to be able to move, that yeah. Eco would be just too restrictive, too restrictive. I think, personally. Yeah. I mean, and that was just on the motorway speed, and it felt restrictive. But well, that's why I wanted to put you on whilst you were yeah, at that speed, yeah, yeah. just to give you did an idea, it, diff, yeah, and massive you can difference. feel it. Right, absolutely amazing. I tell you what, it just, I mean, I can feel that the feel through the steel wheel is absolutely so brilliant. Yeah, this one. Yeah. But it just, it, it, I can feel everything like through the seat, right from me bump through the, from the road. Yeah. But it's just so smooth. Yeah, they're, honestly, they're amazing. They're amazing cars, they really are. I'm just, uh, so we're getting the right hand lane yeah. here. Yeah, I'm just trying to test these. I'm going to just see how these brakes. Yeah, they are really nice and progressive. They just feel like normal brakes. Absolutely amazing. And what we'll do, if you want, in a moment. So, did you want to put it into the B mode just whilst we're going around yeah, just yeah. to see? Perfect. That's yeah, it. Yeah. It's just so that way. I know, obviously, you're, put, you're coming up and putting away here, but it's just to give you an idea again. Same. In the middle. We're staying in the right hand lane here, if that's okay. And then as we go around, if you get into the left hand lane. Yeah. Nice. 
it does go into two lanes here, so if someone is coming off, it's okay. Uh, there is actually two lanes that come around there. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, you've got your B mode at the moment. Yeah, I actually like that. That's very, very. That that's no different from the from the other model I drove. No, it's no. exactly. And it feels exactly the same. So anyone who's yeah. going from the old model to the new one, it's like, I mean, that, for yeah. me, that's identical. We've been only had the car for two or three days. It just it feels so natural. Exactly the same. But the good thing is, you say if you're approaching a junction, you can take your foot off, and the officer will start slowing you down. That's how it feels with the e pedal, but it's uh, a stronger resistance. Yeah, well, when you're sense. backing off. When you're backing off. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, did you want to try the e-pedal in a minute? Yeah, yeah so if you want to put it into the D mode, just so that way you can see the difference. I'm going to put the e-pedal on, and then if oh, you I just, see. yeah, just drive sort of as normal. But at this time though, obviously the brake lights will come on as you take your foot off. And as I say, once you get used to how much power, or, or you'll know when to stop after a period of time, once you get to know how the e-pedal works. Then why does that, um eco uh, thing come up is that just something that's there permanently regardless of underneath that? there yeah. yeah it's just so you that you're driving in in that, oh, in that band, in that band. Eco. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah because i noticed when it was in eco that actually lit up it, it lit up even yeah. more didn't it that's yeah. right yeah so what you'll notice we've got no one behind us at the moment but as you take your foot off the accelerator it'll start bringing you to a wow that is control. really can really you feel that resistance there yeah yeah that is a lot yeah. more um Emphasise that over the B. Yeah. And we get the right hand lane here, so yep. it's a straight over. But again, you can drive literally with the one foot. And again, if you put it into the B mode, you get that tiny little bit more resistance in there as well. The only criticism right. I'd say about the E pedal is that it feels like you're having to press a lot harder to accelerate over without it. Without it, yeah. Coming yeah. off it is fine. But I think that's, I mean, yeah. that's quite a considerable weight you have to apply on the pedal over without it. To go away, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite noticeable. I mean, it's like... I think once you get used to it, though, yeah. it's because it's different, I think, isn't that yeah. the thing? Totally. It's because none of us are used to having I mean, it's not like overly that. heavy, but you no. can notice it. It's like, I mean, I'm feeling my muscles in my calf like, like tense a little bit different <laughs> from before, because obviously it's that, but next right now. Next right, yeah, 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 yeah. Was that long enough for you as well? Yeah, that's fine, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that is really, really yeah. strong as well. Wow. I, was, I actually think that it would actually be saying you'd, it, you'd literally take half hour to get used to that. That's, no, that's what I, mean. I think that's, oh, you're right there, yeah. Gauge yeah. It, pulling up to where it's, uh, that is very, very easy. And that's what I was saying about the gauging it. Once you gauge yeah. how, you, you'll get used to that and you'll be able oh, to. See, I've just felt that now because it felt, when you was pulling away, it felt a lot harsher. Than when you're doing low speed, you only need throttle. Little, light, that's light actually roll. a lot. Of, I thought it yeah. might have been stronger than that again. No, so if you're like, going, if you are just going around town, yeah. then it's yeah, it's really not light. as yeah. No. Um, just wanted to say a really big thanks to Derek Clark for coming out with me on the test drive and showing me all the features um, on the vehicle. Um, and I really appreciate the fact he did mind um, uh, doing the video with me in the car. Hi guys, um, just left the dealership on my way home now. Um, fantastic test drive. Um, as you'll see in the video, uh, some very, very good standout points on the vehicle. Noticeably, the ride comfort is absolutely sublime. Um, you literally can't feel any, um, you can feel stuff coming through your steering wheel and through the vehicle, so it's got really good uh, uh, road feel. Um, but those 17 inch rims rode phenomenally well, even over quite uh, bad undulations. Um, the 16 inches are just gonna make it limousine-like. Um, in fact, I actually am that impressed with the 17 inches, apart from the cost, obviously, um, that I would actually consider keeping those on the vehicle and actually have the added cost, uh, as I say, I'll have to cross the bridge when I get there, depending on how many savings I make with the vehicle regarding less uh, brake pad use, um, obviously the cost of the um, electricity or fuel for the vehicle and other items that I'll actually be saving in terms of like servicing over a traditional internal combustion engine vehicle. Um, but yeah, so the rider was absolutely superb. 
the wind noise I think was the most noticeable uh, absence. I mean, we were going up to 70 mile an hour and it just was, and it's quite windy here today up in Cambridge. Um, like I said in the video, you could actually hear uh, the water in the like gullies of where the cars have gone over the motorway and obviously they've made indents on the road so you can hear the road, the water uh, in between the tyres and the tarmac but that's all you could hear, it was just absolutely um, amazingly quiet and the logo is simply amazing, it doesn't do that vehicle any justice, it really really is epically good uh, in terms of quietness and smoothness. Um, the driving controls were very very uh, easy to get get on with as you'll see in the video um, I did make comparisons to the old model so if you're coming from a 24 or a 30 kilo like amp uh, variant over to this new model although I only had access to the vehicle I did have access to it for um, four days I only had it for three days that's all I needed to do my work test simulating work tests uh, tail end of last year um, but it's so if you're coming from that previous generation to this new model for me it felt virtually no different um, the ride was markedly better on this vehicle over the Tecna that I had um, which has the same uh, wheel and tyre sizes as this new model so they've obviously done some work there with the uh, damper and uh, springs and the suspension um, uh, components and yeah, so thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the ride. Um, the windscreen wipers were very, very efficient, uh, unlike my current vehicle, because it was raining uh, when we was doing the test, and they worked absolutely uh, flawlessly. Very, very quiet in operation, which is a godsend for me. Um, can't stand squeaky or um, noisy wipers, so they were very, they moved on the windscreen very, very fluidly and really smoothly. Um, and the heating and the ventilation as you'll probably see in the video um, Derek was actually trying to clear the um, interior windows worked really really well um, overall visibility um, out of the vehicle as I said uh, the driving position was really nice and high so it is actually a very nice commanding view of the road uh, so that's another plus point especially in our industry and for you guys as well at home if you're going to be using this in the domestic market um, I say it's not like uh, SUV height over the uh, vehicles but it's good enough that you can uh, get a good uh, view of the road um, I think that's about it um, they were the main things that I actually wanted to focus on and they all passed with flying colours um, there might have been one other thing that I did forget it's probably because I was absorbed by the fantastic uh, vehicle um, and basically so now going back to uh, what's going to happen with uh, me taking delivery of the vehicle uh, we're still on track um, whilst I was there I made sure the rest of the deposit has actually transferred over that's all done and dusted the only thing I've got to do now is actually sign for the vehicle when the vehicle uh, has been uh, delivered I dropped off my uh, private plates uh, that I have I've had on uh, quite a few of my taxes over the years um, to Derek with the retention documents so they can uh, register the vehicle with those plates on it so that's all done and dusted um, and now we're just waiting for the like I said earlier the pod point to be installed and take delivery of the vehicle um, I don't know if there's going to be much more I can actually do or comment on about the video between now and taking delivery it's only a matter of weeks away um, so bear with me while I take until I take delivery of the vehicle um, if anything else does come up that I can mention regarding the vehicle obviously I'll um, do another video um, but I just can't wait for the journey to begin with you guys and uh, we're getting very very close cheers for now guys